Hello everyone, it is Jill coming at you with a helmet cam voiceover video, hooray! <laughs> Obviously, as you can see from the title, this is from our most recent run at novice level at the Middle Tennessee Horse Trials put on by Pony Club. So we are out of the start box and off to go see Mr. Pumpkin, who is chilling on the ground right there, filling a hole, you know, creative use of pumpkins. <laughs> um, so we're off, head into number one with Miss Shoulder Pop here. Um, she likes to, I guess, look at the jump with a full eye, so she kind of goes in crooked. Um, and she's, she does it with either eye, so I don't think she has a vision problem, so don't worry about that. <laughs> but um, obviously, first two jumps, easy peasy. And now we are pretty much into our pace here on our way to jump number three, which is a stone wall fence, which makes me a little nervous because, like, ouch, if you poke it, but, you know, Zazu takes it in stride, as always. So they're just approaching that. Trying to get a nice line to it. She always has her ears locked on the next thing. Boing! <laughs> um, and then we go through the fence, which is kind of an awkward little line that we have to ride because then I have to take an immediate right and then go left. And she was just like looking for the next jump. So it was like, Zoe, hey, no, over here. No, over here. Now over here. Um, and this jump, I didn't get a great line to. I rode really left. But it worked out okay to get us in straight to this uh, 5AB combination, which is a ditch to a log. Um, she did put her back feet in the ditch. Again, I don't know what that's about, um, but, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? But, I mean, she didn't balk at it or look at it or anything, which she tends to do at home. But I guess on course, she just gets the adrenaline going and doesn't really care. <laughs> and as most of you know, she put her back feet in a ditch at a Will Fodry clinic. And then at a Boyd Martin clinic, she ran Boyd over trying to avoid the ditch because it sort of rattled her a little bit. But um, we've since been working on that issue. But clearly, we need to just drill it a little bit more so that she um, really feels confident and really understands what's being asked of her there. Um, so now you understand the story there, because uh, that was an interesting, interesting thing that happened in my life. <laughs> um, but now we are on our way through this little gate. I had finally just gotten her pace regulated again, because after jump, she likes to just like, yeah, off to the races, here we go. <laughs> so I finally gotten her back down into a nice canter, and we were turning, and then you can see her lock onto the fence, and she says, Rum, <laughs> jump. Um... So then we head over to do another um, sort of sweepy turn to um, this uh, table. God, talking is hard, right? <laughs> Especially in these long spans when it's like, I'm trying to fill time. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I accidentally overshot my turn there because of those little flags. So I ended up slicing that ever so slightly, but you know, whatever, Zoe doesn't care. Um, and then I come down. I had originally planned to go outside of this pole here, but you can sort of see the little amateur moment <laughs> whether I could make a decision. So I just ended up going inside because I didn't really see any reason to shoot out like that. And then we just approached this teeny tiny little brushy fence, and which she jumped huge, looks like. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really distracting. My little helmet visor there just flapping around. We well, put on an old one, and I should have put a band on it because it doesn't stay. It's really annoying in pictures and stuff. That is not the focus of this video, Jill. Um, so then we head to this combination, um, which I just sort of half halted for, and she was like, okay, mom, leave me alone. <laughs> I understand. She's like a child, I swear. She's going through that teenager stage where she's like, no, no, mom, I got it. <laughs> and then we come down to the water, and you can see she puts her left eye on it. And um, I've just learned to sort of trust that she's just gonna jump you know I just keep my leg on and ride it but I don't really correct the shoulder popping behavior because I think she's just trying to get her head turned to where she can see it with a full eye um that's just my speculation there but we are on to jump number 13 um which we got kind of deep to that one um that was a problem I was having a lot on this course was getting deep so I'm just gonna have to be conscientious of that um, next go and when we school to really push for good spots I got deep to that one too um, but yeah that is the end of my <laughs> my little uh, voice over here it's um I can't wait till we move up and it's a little more interesting because I mean it's 
like we have what two combinations <laughs> and I'm not trying to like undermine novice it's just not the most interesting thing to commentate on um like Mr. Doug Payne and his like four star three star adventures um anyway after my course I always do a trot circle or two just to try and slow the heart rate the breathing a little bit and then bring her down to a walk unclip my vest and um tell her she's good she's so good ah 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 and um, you'll see my coach there <laughs> talking to her after the fact. Uh, that's G Dog. She's she's the real MVP. Um, but yeah, we usually talk about how it went. If I was clear, compare times and whatnot. Cause she always times me. And then uh, see me hopping off off the little sweaty sweaty Zobert. It was so hot. Oh my god, it was so humid. And that's Kendall. Kendall, my bean, Tate eventing on Instagram. <laughs> she was such a big help this weekend for cross country and stuff. Um, just helping me with Zoe and get tacked up and out there on time and everything. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. Please let me know if you like these videos, if they're interesting enough. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, goodbye!